Hello everyone. My name is Kushbu and I'm the product manager for Domo's App Studio. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use some of the key features and components of this powerful data experience tool. Access App Studio using the Apps option in the Domo Top Navigation. You will see all of your apps, favorites, shared and owned apps categorized on this page. The search bar can be used to directly search for an app and the Create App button to create an app from scratch. Access other Pro Code app options from the Domo app platform directly from Apps Home. Hovering over an app tile using the three-dot menu will show you options to directly access from home such as View, Edit, Share, Duplicate, Favorite, and deleting the app. Now let's create an app from scratch. Once you click on the Create button on Apps Home, you will enter the App Studio Editor where you can choose a theme from the out-of-box library of themes provided by Domo. Select Saturated or Subtle Brand for easy customizations and branding. App Studio lets you easily manage and curate your existing content with the Import options under Pages and Navigation. Once you click on Import, you can choose an existing dashboard in your Domo instance and bring it into your app. Once this page has been imported into your app, you will see that the existing theme will apply seamlessly across all the components within your page. Now let's import a few more pages into this app. For pages within your app, you can click on the Settings icon under Pages and Navigation tab and select an icon for those page headers. You can also choose the positions for those icons, hide or show that page on App Navigation. Simply drag and drop the pages to change the order of their appearance in your app. As you can see now, with App Studio, you can take all of your content and port it in one single app. With its bespoke navigation, you can seamlessly jump between your content using the navigation in your app. App Studio takes it another step further as you can completely customize this navigation in edit mode according to your unique preferences by changing the orientation from top to left and also giving you options to hide or reorder the existing Domo options. Domo lets you completely curate and personalize your app experience. Here you can see how seamlessly the left navigation blends into your app. Buttons is another new addition into App Studio's rich feature set. Buttons can also be used to navigate to other pieces of content from your app or create card or found pop-ups. Drag and drop a button from the Add Actions and Elements tab. You can also drag in a spacer to further fine-tune and control the white spacing on your layout. Once you click on a button from the right-hand panel, you can add icons and labels to your buttons. Under Actions, you can choose multiple options for a button. Here, we are selecting a card pop-up. Once you save the app, you can see how this button can be used to navigate to cards with pop-ups. One of the most amazing navigational component additions to App Studio is tabs. You can simply drag and drop a tab component on the layout. Once you select the tab on the right panel, just like pages, you have options to reorder move, or delete your tabs. Add icons to the tab headers to make them more visually appealing. Tabs is one of the first step geared towards letting you group content based on context. You can easily switch between your content and eliminate the endless scrolling experience. Here we are choosing the content on the existing page and reorganizing them on the tab layout. Once you're done with the reorganization and you save this tab layout, you will be able to see how seamlessly we can jump between sections of content set up next to each other. Until now, you could set up drill on cards, but with App Studio, you can now drill into a completely new page view from an existing chart or button with persisting filters. Simply click on a card or a button under the Actions tab on the right-hand panel Choose the option to open the page in an app and select the page and check the option to persist filters and enable interactions. 
you can set up similar drill views on a button as well. Page drill with persisting filters really allows you to dig deeper into your content. You can choose to hide the drilled view page under navigation by deselecting the checkbox that lets you include the page on navigation. Here we can now select a few filters and drill into that new page. You will see that the apparel and Nike filters that are selected get carried over along with the interaction chart filter and persist through the chart view onto the drilled page. Everything is packaged together to help you navigate and answer all of your questions within the context of the app, creating a seamless experience for your App Studio app. The breadcrumbing back button gets you back to the original app page. Now, once you have all of your content set up, let's look at personalization and branding of your app using colors. With the theme library using the left panel, you can easily switch between different themes and see how beautifully all the pieces of content and pages within your app come together with colors, fonts, chart color palettes, component styles, and more. With any theme, you can switch between different theme color palettes to further customize the look of your app. Here we are switching between different color palettes and you can see how quickly it changes the look and feel of all the colors and chart on your app. Under layout options, you can also slide between different app density options to control the white spacing on your layout to bring all the content closer to each other or farther away. While the global theme settings sit on the left panel, clicking on the component will bring individual settings on the right-hand side panel. Here you can switch between different pre-built styles for components. You can also dive deeper into styles to further customize specific settings. You can change borders, rounded corners, drop shadows, spacing inside the cards, below headers, font colors, and so much more. And the best part is that all this is grouped by component types. So changing styles will impact all similar components with same styles across the app on all its pages. For table styles, you can dive in deeper into style settings to change borders, border weight, color, row heights, and more settings. The advanced table appearance gives you access to more granular settings for a table, such as alternating row colors, fonts, background colors, subtotal and total row colors, and much more. Now let's dive into complete personalization and branding of your app within merely a few seconds. What really ties together the entire app color scheme is the primary and accent colors in the theme color palette. These colors are tied closely to the chart color series, which can be reordered to change how your charts look in the app. But instead of having to spend a lot of time adding individual custom colors or tweaking components individually, directly changing the primary color palettes completely change the look of your app from Domo to your brand in a few seconds. Here we are updating the primary and access colors using hex codes, and you can see how within seconds, all the components and charts in the app bind together seamlessly. You can also add and change the expanded series for your charts. Once you save, you will now see that all the charts and tables, forms, controls in your entire app has been personalized according to your brand and messaging. You can easily drag and drop a font component onto your app to collect information from internal users across a variety of topics. You will be able to power these forms from dataset columns for user selection using the mapping settings and build cards using the results dataset to view side by side on your app. You can also set up a form pop-up behind a button for quick action. Now that you've set up all the content for your app, Enter the App Studio Editor and using the left panel under App Configuration, give your app a title name. 
You can also choose an icon using the Upload option or the inbuilt library provided by Domo to select an icon for your app. Under App Configuration, you also have the option to lock your app. Once you've saved your app, you can use Domo options in the navigation, such as Share, to share your app with other users or groups. You can use the Control Panel to apply filters and control across your app pages. Using Details, you can mark your app as a favorite and view more app details, such as all the datasets used on your app. Go back to Apps Home using the Home icon, and you can now see your Business Overview app on your Apps Home page.